Gracias. Welcome to day one here in uh, beautiful Sydney. It is raining, it is cold, and it's going to be extremely windy today. So I don't know if I've done a decaf in these conditions exactly, but I'm excited to get out there. The body feels good. I feel good. I think the best possible outcome for this competition would be a qualifier for the World Championships and the Commonwealth Games, which is 8,350 points, and it's a massive point score. But if the weather turns around and a few things go in my favor this weekend, it's definitely possible and it would just set up my season perfectly. First event is the 100 meters. And away now in the first of 10 events in this men's decathlon, it's Golovovich. Now who we said we do what takes out. I was hoping for a little bit quicker and I know I'm capable of it, but not bad considering the conditions for today. I've been bruising my heel quite a bit lately, so I'm hoping to just come in, slam it down. I'll hurt it a little bit, but hopefully I can just get a good distance out there and then we can move on to the next event. One jump and we're done. We have to be a little bit careful with these conditions today because we've got a really strong tailwind behind us for this event and it could make it really easy to fail. That was big, but I also know that there is another big jump waiting, and it's right there. And I know if I go after it, I'm going to get it. Long jump was a really good result. We jumped 7.92 with a 3.1 meter tailwind. So an illegal tailwind, but my biggest jump ever. And that definitely helps with the overall point tally. Thirteen seventeen in my opening round, which is an awesome result. We tried to go after it a little bit more in the second and third. No improvement, but I'm really happy to have a throw over 13 meters. Now, onto the high jump. So my legs are feeling a little bit more tired than I was hoping. I just got a massage, we had a bit of a break, had some lunch. And I think this is going to be one of those moments in the decath that decide its fate. High jump has been super inconsistent lately and every point is going to count. The first three events definitely helped with the point score total so I can afford to lose a little bit in the high jump which I'm expecting a little bit. Obviously I'm going to do my absolute best but uh, I do have a little bit of that leeway now that I created with a really good long jump. We're jumping well. Every new height that we jump is an extra five seconds that I get to run slower in the 1500. So that's my main motivation, is uh, slowing down the 1500 as much as possible.
I just cleared 211, which is is awesome. I was hoping for 205, praying for 208, and 211 is just a massive bonus. So uh, that gives me a lot of points, which is awesome. And uh, I kind of re-aggravated my heel bruise on the last two attempts at 214, but we should be fine because the next event and the events tomorrow don't put too much pressure on it. So uh, we're doing well so far. We just need one more run to finish off today. 400, let's go. Our 400 got pushed back by almost two hours, but I think it worked in our favor because the wind has actually died down. So I wasn't really looking forward to headwinds and tailwinds. It's still a little bit swirly, but a lot better than what it was this afternoon. I say that as the wind picks up. The 400 is simply about running until your body can't run anymore. It's you against the stopwatch. And the faster you run, the more points you get. So today, we're going hard and we're seeing what happens. What a result. I was coming down the home straight and all I could think about was me versus the stopwatch. And then Woo! I leant forward, I threw my body at the line, fell over, got a few pretty bad grazes, but what a result. That is worth it. That was an awesome run in the 400. I gave it a proper dig and I knew coming down the home straight that we were on for something good. It's a massive PB, massive points. I'm going into day two well ahead of where I wanted to be. And so we're, we're looking really good. Now it's time to recover. I've got grazes all over me because I, I couldn't stop myself from falling forward at the end of the 400. So um, I'm gonna try and warm down as quick as possible get the body moving, get onto the massage table, go to the cryo chamber, cool the body down, eat some food, go home, sleep, and get ready for another day tomorrow. <laughs>